Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, welcome. We're the Garso Twins. I'm Carly. I'm Britta. And if you like this video or watch other videos you like, we would really appreciate it if you would subscribe down below. Today we're going to be talking about our favorite nude lipsticks, so let's get right into it. So as we speak about each lipstick, we'll enter um, swatches of us wearing them on mm -hmm. our lips so you guys have a better idea of what we're talking about. And we do want to mention that these are just lipsticks, bullet lipsticks, and liquid lipsticks. We can do a full video on like lip liners if you're interested. Mm -hmm. But we wanted to hone in, and so we each have four, and we do love all of them, but we are each talking about four here, so let's get started. Okay, so the one I'm wearing on my lips throughout this video is the Kathleen Lights and ColourPop What's Your Sign Lipstick. This is in their, what is this called, the Satin Formula? Mm -hmm. um, I love this formula. We've spoken about these before. The Foolish shade that they have is so pretty. It's like a bright reddish orange terracotta. Um, but this is my favorite nude from them. Uh, as you can see, it's, well, on the lips you can see more. I feel like it's a pretty, like, normal, neutral, peachy nude. And I always wear a lip liner underneath it just because on its own, I feel like it's slightly too warm or slightly too light for my preference. Um, I really like a good neutral, slightly deep nude. I don't think that's warm at all, though. Um, just maybe my opinion. Yeah, maybe it's, I don't know. Definitely like, not peachy. Well, you guys in can. In my opinion. Yeah, you guys There's decide. like some peach in it, but it's mm -hmm. mostly neutral, mm -hmm. I would say. Um, but I do like to deepen it up by wearing like a contour shade type lip liner beneath it. So I always wear the By Beauty 036 lip liner under it. That's what I'm doing right now. I think it's a perfect combination. Mm -hmm. um, but these are super creamy. Like they don't fill in the lip lines. They don't make your lips look old and dry. They last pretty long time. Like I always blot my lipstick down, which makes it last a bit longer. Um, it's not transfer proof, but I like that. I like the look of this. Like the finish of this is my ideal finish for mm -hmm. lipstick. So pretty. It just looks healthy. Mm -hmm. um, so I love wearing this. I wear it at least once a week if not twice a week. Um, this is like my favorite nude lipstick combination and they're so affordable. I mean, it's kind of like a high and low with the Bite Beauty liner and the ColourPop lipstick, but together they're unstoppable. I have a lip liner with my first one as well, but then we won't talk about lip yeah. liners the rest of the time. But this is my favorite nude lipstick and um, I, maybe I shouldn't be saying my favorite right away, but it is. Um, it's Pat McGrath La Beja, so starting off hot with a high price point lipstick, but trust me, it's worth it. What um, happened on the side there? Uh, it's just like, I don't know. I think hmm. the heat. I've been traveling with it, which probably isn't a good idea to keep it like in my purse. Um, this is her satin formula. I actually prefer the matte formula over this formula, but the shade is so perfect. It's like a deep peachy brown in my opinion. There's like quite a bit of yellow in it. Um, I'm wearing it right now so you can see. I love those those brownie tones that have some yellow, some pink. So yeah, like brownie tones with a little bit of warmth. Yeah. That's like what we love but also kind of like makes it more neutral. Yeah. Um, it just, I think it looks good on our skin. We've said pink nudes don't really work for us so if you are similar skin tone to us you would probably really enjoy the ones we're going to mm -hmm. talk about. But um, yeah, this is her satin formula. Um, my only complaint with it, which I've said in the past, is that it's a bit thick for my liking. I find her matte formula to go on in very thin, beautiful layers. This one's a little thicker, but still so comfortable. Um, it has a similar sheen to the ColourPop ones. It's not flat, mm -hmm. uh, but I do blot it down usually, and it'll last all day on me. That's another thing I really love about this formula. Um, yeah, and the color's just so pretty. Oh my god, I didn't say what it was, did I? Yeah, you did. It's La Beja, number 400, and yeah, it's the Lux Trans Lipsticks, um, not the Lux Matte. I just love it. I love the component. I I think I keep these like up on my near my perfumes and out on display because the component is just so pretty. Um, maybe not for you that's a reason to buy lipstick, but I definitely love an, a pretty component. Uh, yeah, so highly recommend this color. I just think it's so beautiful and the formula. And I paired it with MAC Strip Down, which is a new find for me. Shocking, I know. I'm really late to the game. But it's, again, a really, like, brown-based nude. So I can wear this lip liner with all the nudes I'm going to talk about. Yeah, same thing with this. Mm -hmm. It's a little bit more mauve but I yeah. feel like it goes with everything. Yeah, um, that one is closer to our lip tone. I think that's yeah. why it works. Um, but, yeah, I love this lip liner specifically with this one, and that's the combo I'm wearing right now. Next up, I'll do my liquid lipstick pick. This is the Persona Cosmetics OG Matte Liquid Lipstick. Uh, I've been raving about this for like the past couple months. The tone of this is such a good 
again, like we're gonna describe these all the same. All the same. But I feel like it's such a good neutral nude. It's not too cool, it's not too warm. It's a very flattering tone on our skin tone. I do really like this formula. I usually, you know, matte liquid lipsticks were big for a while and we, we jumped on that train. We bought so many and now I rarely wear them because as you get older, like you know, your lines are just more prevalent. Mm -hmm. You don't wanna make them more prevalent by wearing a super matte lipstick. But I do find that this formula is like a comfort matte in my opinion. Uh, I do blot this one down as well and it lasts all day. It doesn't make my lips look old and dry. Uh, and I just have such a hard time finding a good neutral nude color. So even if I didn't like this formula, I feel like I'd still wear it because I love the tone so much. But I find that this formula is fantastic. And I think that all of the shades that she has are really pretty. Like she has that new Phoenix red mm -hmm. that looks so beautiful. I like the component. It's sleek. It's simple. Uh, it's slim. It's easy to travel with. Uh, the applicator is really nice. It's like the curved one, if mm -hmm. you can even see that. So it's easy to be really precise, which I appreciate. I love this. Um, this is definitely even my go-to nude uh, liquid lipstick. I'll do my liquid lipstick next then as well. This is the M Cosmetics Infinite Lip Cloud in Morning Mocha. We did a whole video on this formula, but kind of um, in the same realm of Persona, where it's a very comfortable liquid lipstick. Mm -hmm. It's this very even more comfortable yeah, and thinner. Yeah, it's very thin, lightweight. You can barely feel it on your lips, but it does give you that opaque color. My favorite way to wear it is apply one opaque layer and then blot it down once. And this shade is perfect in my opinion. It's, it's my most worn, I would say. Yeah, it's a caramel nude. So again, <laughs> quite a bit of brown, very neutral. And actually, it looks kind of similar to this. Oh, it does look similar. Oh, that's really oh, wow. similar. That's so funny. Yeah. Okay, so they're very similar. <laughs> um, yeah, you'll see that our, we just find these, like, I think they're rare shades. They're so hard to find, <laughs> They're guys. hard to the find. Worst, it's but like then we grasp on for dear life, yeah. and we're like, okay, this is our type of nude. Um, yeah, so again, quite a bit of brown, also some pink, lightens up the lips, very neutral, um, just a beautiful shade, uh, and same applicator, actually, as the Yeah, persona. that's a little It's bigger. a little chair. Right? Do we yeah, call it the chair? The chair. Mm -hmm. um, this one's pretty flocked, so it applies the formula really nicely. You can even apply with your finger, like um, if you really want a diffuse look. But like I said, I just like applying an opaque layer with the applicator and then blotting it down one. Me too. It'll last all day on me. Mm -hmm. Again, very long lasting, like the Pat McGrath. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful shade. Love it so much. It's so, so good. good. I wish um like a blush existed in this color. Oh yeah. That'd be pretty. Yeah. This is the nude lipstick I've been wearing the longest. And I don't know why these have gained popularity in like the past few months. Because they release new shades. Oh, that's right. But mm -hmm. they're still not online. We saw them in I know. the store. I know. Okay, so backstory. I feel like I bought this years ago, honestly. Maybe oh. two years ago. Yeah. It's probably expired. I need to buy a new one. Um, but we did see that they released some more nude shades at Ulta, but then we couldn't find them online because the ones in the store looked like they had been swapped, so we didn't want to buy them. If you guys know the 411, but I'll let you know what these are called so you can help us out. They're the L'Oreal Color Reshine Lipsticks. This is the shade 900 Glossy Fawn, and um, I, so like I said, I bought this like two years ago, and for some reason now it's gaining popularity. Mm -hmm. This specific shade, mm -hmm. though, is gaining popularity. Mine has like a little hole in it. I'm not sure. Oh, that, is that bad? I mean... <laughs> I, again, I'm going to go buy a new one, but I loved this for so long. Um, when I'm running errands and I'm not wearing that much makeup, I feel like it's the only lipstick I'll wear and throw on. But I also love wearing a lip liner under it, like the Bite Beauty 036, and then I'll throw this one on top, and it kind of makes my lips look really plump and juicy without wearing a lip gloss, because you guys know we're not lip gloss people. <laughs> no recommendations for you, because we just don't really like it, mm -hmm. honestly. So this is like gives that glossy look without being a lip gloss, without being sticky. It just makes the lips look so healthy, and the tone of it is so beautiful. Lots of brown in here. Glossy Fawn, for some reason, is like the best way to describe it. That's it's such a good name. They did an awesome job I with it. I love them. the packaging on these. Um, I really oh my hope, God, it's so beautiful. So beautiful. I really hope we can find those nude shades again, like the new colors, because they looked really, really gorgeous when we saw them in store. Um, so I have high hopes that I'll find some more. But this has just been like my go-to. And the smell. You guys know we usually don't like fragrance and stuff, but they smell like sweet like a sweet candy like candy yeah. they smell sweet I oh, know it smells so good um so if you're like a low maintenance lipstick person I feel like you would love this because it's so easy to just throw on mm -hmm. and go 
Okay, I'll talk about my other Pat McGrath one next, and I only have a mini of this, but it's lasting me a while, so I'm like, no need to buy the full size. But this is Pat McGrath, and it's the the matte trans formula, and it's $19.95. Mine's all messed up, and it's like falling over, but <laughs> that's okay. Um, this one, at first, I was like, oh, that's way pinker than I expected on me. Because when I hear $19.95, I'm like, oh, classic 90s mm -hmm. brown. Um, but it does have a bit of pink in it, but I actually feel like it works for this formula. Because sometimes I think when things are... This formula is very matte, but like I said, I love this formula. It is my favorite formula of existence. It is a thin matte, and it diffuses your lips somehow. It makes them look just perfect. Um, I think this formula is worth the money, but anyway. This color, I think if it was more brown and more of like a classic when you think of like very... Like Rachel a cool green. toned, or yeah, like a very brown. Um, I think sometimes that in a very opaque matte coat looks a little harsh. Yeah. Um, so I think the addition of the bit of the cool pink in here, it's more mauve-y brown. Yeah. It's like a mauve deep brown, which is still a very 90s brown. I love the name 1995. I don't know why she picked 1995, but it's very cute. Um, like I said, I love that it's matte. I love the formula. In my collection, I don't really have something else like this that's as deep, as cool, and still has that pink in it. So I do feel like it's unique. Um, I'm sure there's dupes, but I just really love this shade. And I'm really happy I picked up this mini set, like, oh my god, again, a while ago. Like, over a year ago. Because um, this was a surprise hit out of the set for me. Okay, and my last lipstick is a new find. I spoke about this in my monthly favorites. But this is the Ulta Beauty Sheer Lipstick in the shade Trailblazer. It's one of the only nudes in the range. And I wanted an alternative to Glossy Fawn because, like I said, this has been expired for who knows how long. And I just love this type of, like, sheer-ish, glossy-looking lipstick to just throw on and go for when I'm running errands. Like, a lot of days, I just don't wear makeup. Mm -hmm. So if I'm just wearing, like, a little bit of makeup and I want my lips to look alive, this is a great one. But I just wanted something else as an alternative. And this had a really good review, so I picked it up. And it's more of a brownie. Again, I do see a little bit of pink in it maybe like yeah, yeah it's like, like there's some yellow in it yeah it looks darker in on um, the bullet than it does on the lips you'll see when I insert the swatch that on the lips it is a sheer lipstick and you can even sheer it up more with your fingers if that's the look you're going for I have also worn a lip liner under it such as the but beauty 036 under it to make it more opaque but it does have a slight sheen to it so I feel like it just makes your lips look very healthy and fresh and hydrated. Uh, it's less glossy than Glossy Fawn. Uh, it's more of just like a satin finish, I would say. Mm -hmm. But I love this. I, I think more brands should be releasing more sheer lipsticks because, like I said, something you can build up, make more opaque, or sheer it out is really nice to mm -hmm. have that ability. Uh, Ulta Beauty is so affordable. The component's actually really cute. Mm -hmm. It has That's their little... Cute logo here um, and then it has the shade on the bottom because I store my lipsticks upside down usually so that's really helpful in my opinion and yeah I've really been enjoying this. Let me see. It has like a slight lipstick scent but no added fragrance which is nice too so uh, I wanted to mention this one because it's a new favorite of mine but I do think a lot of people would like this type of lipstick. Okay, my last one is from the MAC Powder Kiss lipstick line that launched mm, less than a year ago. It was a huge launch for MAC, Mac because That's they right. hadn't launched like a new formula in a long time. And, and I personally think this is the best formula yeah, they have. People don't talk about it as much. I know. Yeah. And I'm just shocked. They did release new shades and I want one that's even pinker than this. And again, in that realm of like brown pink, um, I need it. I actually, I should just purchase it. I should, I should purchase it. Tonight. You can just swatch it at the store and see. Yeah. But this is impulsive. So this was a part of the first launch. And out of all the shades, I really loved like the um, wine shades and the reds. But I have a lot of those in my collection. And this one stood out to me because again, it's a neutral brown, but there's like zero pink in it. There's some yellow, but there isn't pink. And I was a little concerned because I'm like, Ooh, if it looks too brown on my lips, then again, it might look a little harsh. But you'll see on the lip swatch that because it's pretty sheer, like you can definitely build it up, but it starts sheer, but it's matte. It's hard to describe. Um, but it gives your lips like a soft focus matte effect. But because it's sheer and buildable, it your lips kind of peek through a bit, which I think really helps with this shade. I can build it up or I, I've worn a lip liner underneath and then put this on top and then it kind of gets rid of that pinkness. 
but I like how the pinkness in my lips shows through a bit um, with this brown. It just pairs so beautifully. I won't even know. I put it in this video because I consider it a nude, but it is a like light neutral brown. Like there's really no other way to describe it. Um, once again, I love this formula. I love how thin and comfortable it is and how it does give you that soft focus effect. I can't believe more people aren't talking about these. Um, I do think mine went bad and that is a little alarming because no, I have had it less than a year. Remember I told you I was like, it's like my favorite lipstick, but I don't know if it went bad quickly and yeah. I don't know why that would have happened. Maybe if I buy the second color today, I'll ask them at the matte counter what, what the deal is. Um, but that's my only complaint. It just started to smell a little funky. And if anyone has had that experience with this line, let me know. But I, I love it. I, it's such an easy, kind of like Alberta describes her glossy fawn. Even though this is more matte, I have also just like thrown it on when I'm going to the store and just have a little bit of makeup on. And I just love how it looks. It gives me some color. Um, it's almost like a matte tinted lip balm. But it's not really nourishing. It's hard to describe. It's so hard to describe. Um, but I really love the formula. I also love that they made the component matte for this line. It's really, really cute. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. If you want us to do other roundups, like our favorite red lipsticks. That'd be that, a good one. That would be a lot. good one. I was going to say, like, pink. We don't really wear pink lipsticks. So reds. We can mm -hmm. do reds mm -hmm. if you want to see that. Comment down below.